Warning, this video contains swearing inappropriate language, watch at your own risk. Hey Stan, I was on my computer at work and saw that you have a Facebook page now? Yeah, Dad, I was kind of forced to. Well, so, are you going to add me as a friend? No, Dad, I, I really don't want to get more into it. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm not your friend then? Dad, you are my friend. But you just don't want to add me as a friend. Dad, it's just a stupid click of a button that takes two seconds. Right, but you don't have the two seconds, or... I just want to do my homework. All right, fine. Just to be clear, you and I are not friends. All right, Dad, I'll add you. Oh, cool, okay. Well, I'm feeling confused. Because I don't understand why you became a nanny. Me? Well, because I love children, like you. Right, but if you love children so much, how come you're not a mommy? Oh, I just never had kids. Why not? It just didn't happen. You're sterile, is that it? No, that's too convenient of an excuse. The truth is, nobody ever wanted to have babies with you, isn't that it? Always the mom's maid, never the mom? It must be hard on you, knowing that the years are ticking away, your friends all getting married, and all the while your uterus slowly shriveling away, drying up, becoming totally worthless. Why, oh, you... you... you little bastard! How dare you! Eric Naughty! What kind of monster would... Yes, let the anger come! Strike me down while you can! But it won't make your dried-up ovaries any more fertile! That's it! I'm not doing this! Oh, but we really need some help! Find yourself another nanny! Can you unpackage them so we only get the channels we want? Oh, I'm sorry, our company doesn't work that way. You want me to give you the number of a different cable company that can... Oh, wait, we're it, aren't we? Dang it, guess you have to deal with our packages. Can we talk to your supervisor, please? Oh, sure. Hey, David. Hi, is there a problem here? We want specific networks dropped from our cable. Oh, you have to pay for the bundle. You can't just pay for what you want to watch. Darn it. You mean that we're forced to pay for the Oprah channel? I guess if you don't want to be forced to pay for Oprah, you'd have to shut off your cable altogether. Fine, then we'll shut our cable off altogether. Hey, Mitch, when can you get out to shut off some cable boxes? Oh, man, it's going to be like three weeks. There's a whole plug I have to pull out. It's like four inches long. Three weeks, huh? Okay, is three weeks from now okay with you guys? No, that's way too long. Oh, it is? Oh, jeez, that's terrible. Oh, you bet. I love all the stuff you said about how our school president never does anything and how she's changing everything. Yes, well, now you can read about all these things I've said, Butters. Take this copy of my book. Cool, thanks. That'll be five dollars. Oh, okay. What the hell do you think you're doing? A book signing. I looked through your stupid book. It's 540 pages of ripping on Wendy and calling her a slut. I do not directly say she's a slut. Wendy Testerberger has proven time and time again that she will do anything to pleasure her vagina. Whether it is the school football team or the janitors on their break, Wendy spends her time as president on her knees or on her back, taking the old in out for hours on end. You didn't read the rest, dude. Or does or she? Or does she? See, that's a question. I'm asking questions, Dad. I've called for Wendy to come on my show and defend herself, but she won't do it. Shouldn't we be worried if our school president is a girl who would rather get her tits licked than go to student council meetings? Oh, yeah. Say, would you crackers like to hear about the time we saw the Loch Ness Monster? No, that's okay. Oh, must have been about seven, eight years ago. Me and the little lady was out on this boat, you see, all alone at night. When all of a sudden this huge creature, this giant crustacean from the Pete Lithic air, comes out of the water. We were so scared, Lord, I mother, I jumped up in the boat and I said, Thomas, what on earth is that creature? It stood above it looking down with these big red eyes. Oh, it was so scary. And I yelled, I said, what do you want from us, monster? And the monster bent down and said, I need about 350. That's it. Tell me the code or you die. <laughs> One, two, I... Yes? I don't know nothing about no fancy dog code. I'm just a simple black man. These spider village workers are really committed to their job. No. Please, don't hurt me. Give us the code to that door and we can leave. I, I never heard of something called a door code. Please, can't you ask some other way?
I don't have time for your stupid game. Tell me or you die right now. All right, all right. Look, it's just it's just one of those Jenkins home security locks. You press the top button and then and then enter one. Uh, ah! What he meant to say, kids, is that we ain't never heard of no fancy door code, cause in our time, we got to rely on wood locks and s Oh my god, isn't it awesome having an iPad, you guys? Hey, baby, where's your iPad? Oh, right, you're not cool enough. <laughs> hey, hey, you see my iPad token? Funny, you don't seem to have one. I thought your family was rich. Ha <laughs> ha, you dumbasses have to play Foursquare cause you don't have iPads. Oh, what should I do on my iPad next? Think I'll email some of my friends. Oh, no, wait. Maybe I'll download some more cool apps. This is so awesome. Tom Saltzman says you don't really have an iPad. What? Tom Saltzman says you just glued a piece of glass to an iPad cover, and you're faking it. Tom Saltzman's dad is an alcoholic who drinks and drives! Let me see your iPad, Cartman. Seriously, you guys, Tom Saltzman's dad is a drunk driver. He's the one who ran over Joey Potts' dog because Joey Potts doesn't know how to take care of his animals, which is why he gets beat by his mom. Just let us see your iPad, Cartman. No, because the battery's dead. It just ran out of power. Bring it on, Earnhardt. You scared of the competition? I'm just as poor and stupid as you. I'm going to drive, and I'm going to go fast, and I'm going to turn to the left sometimes. Can we just get back to the subject of racing, please? Oh, <laughs> bring it on, Danica. You dumb bitch. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Stan. Jimmy, will you go talk to Wendy for me? For, for, for what? Just go talk to her and, and be poetic. Tell her she's my muse. No, tell her, tell her she's a continuing source of inspiration to me. She's what? She's a continuing source of inspiration to me. Okay. Hey, w hey, Wendy. Yeah. Stan says you're a cunt. You're a cunt. Stan says you're a cunt. Cunt. Well, tell Stan to fuck off. You're. Continuing source of inspiration to him. Well? She just walked away, Stan. You're gonna have to face facts. It's over. Okay, I'd like a B, an N, and a G. And the vowel? An O, please. Okay, well, looks like you're gonna get a lot of help here. Category is people who annoy you. Audience, keep quiet, please. Uh, well, uh... Ten seconds, Mr. Marsh. Well, I know it, but I don't think I should say it. Five seconds, Mr. Marsh. Uh, all right, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Uh... Huh? Oh. Oh, naggers, of course. Naggers. Right. Uh, can we cut to, uh... Can we cut to a...